I always had this dream about playing on the river as an adult and my dad is a log driver and my grandfathers were log drivers and my great uncles and so they worked on this river and so it's kind of in my blood. So I was looking at buying a home and then I was thinking about building a tiny house and I wasn't sure if I was going to be living around here for a long time so I thought okay tiny house yeah I can move it. And then at the time, my friend who was the boat builder, we were always hanging out on his boats. And he just encouraged me to build a tiny houseboat. So I was really <laughs> impulsive and I said, okay, fine, let's do it. And like a few days later, I bought the pontoons. So welcome to the River Den. We're in Wakefield, Quebec, and this is the Gatineau River. Come on board. All the lights are run on 12 volts and I just basically have a deep cycle boat battery in here and it usually lasts around a month. I have a little 12 volt pump, a built pump, and um, it just draws river water. And the river water is really clean. It's not drinking water, but it's really nice and clean to do dishes with and to brush your teeth and stuff. And then under here is where the pump is. Just a small little pump, $100. Yeah, everything was custom built, all the cabinets and the windows were even not uh, built. We just bought the, the glass and it's double pane with argon and uh, we built the frames. This is just a little butane burner. In the winter time when I have the fire going, sometimes I make toast right on here. You can take the top right off and put a frying pan or a pot to boil water or just warm up food. And it works really fast and really well and I just use a bodum to make coffee. Well, there's no refrigeration system yet and that probably would be the thing that pushes me over the edge to get solar. Yeah. yeah, I just use a cooler with ice for now. Here are the switches for all the utilities right now. So there's the, the pump and these are navigation lights for the boat. It is a boat that moves and there's a 60 horsepower motor on the back. Over here is an extra storage area and the shower. This is a bathroom and we recently invested in the separate. And this is a composting toilet and it's a waterless toilet. So it separates the liquids from the solids and it has a really quiet 12 volt <laughs> pump. And it's great because you can't hear it and it, uh, it, it dries out the solids really quickly and turns it into compost and there's no odor whatsoever. Over here we have a deck in the back with the gas motor and this is storage for the gas tanks and the anchors. This is a grill floor and it's a great feature for the winter time because the heat rises through the floor and also the dirt falls <laughs> to the first level. So in the loft upstairs it's only about five feet high and you don't have to crouch down and do any kind of like sweeping or cleaning because the dust just falls through the floor. We call this La Tanière, which means the wolf den. This is a regular queen size bed and just some storage shelves. These are old crates, some extra blankets and stuff. And then out here is a little door to go on the rooftop patio. Come on out. So this is the rooftop patio. Uh, this wood is cedar. And I was thinking about extending the deck and having some railings over here. We had left this space originally for the solar panels to fit. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. So there's a really interesting feature about the roof of this boat. Uh, when we were designing it, I was really pushing the limits to have it as big as I could and still be able to drive it on the road. We got around it by making this wedge piece that, so this roof actually lifts up. I'm not gonna hurt my back and show you, but it does lift up. So whenever we wanna move it on the road, take the boat out of the water, this window comes out and then this gets pulled onto the roof and just screwed down in place. And then this comes right down to here. So then it's 13 feet high. The base was made with four 30 foot pontoons. Now they're not regular pontoons, they're built with ABS and inside there's foam and there's a bit of space between it. So actually water comes into the pontoons to hold it down into the water so that it's really steady. And right before the project was finished, before it left the yard, like a week before it was done, we decided to buy one more pontoon and bolt it up. So now it's on five pontoons and it has 
20,000 pounds of flotation. And the pontoons are built to freeze in the ice. Then there was an aluminum base built and we had to go with aluminum because we couldn't risk the boat shifting at all with this, the change of temperature. And then it's a wood frame. So this house boat was built starting last August and the project was completed in November. Denis Tremblay is the name of the boat builder and he's known around this town as the Wakefield Pirate. When I decided to build this, I figured it was a great investment because I could rent it out by the night on Airbnb. It's such a treat to be able to let people experience this kind of living. When I'm not renting it, this houseboat, I live on it. It's great to wake up on the water and just jump in the river first thing in the morning. And it's a really peaceful way to live.